Welcome to my first tutorial. My name is Guy and I'm also known as Big Boss and I will show you how you can bring content from DAS into iClone using the Reillusion 3D Exchange 4 program. I'm going to be doing this for people who actually don't own an FBX exporter from DAS but own a 3D Studio Max license. So I will be taking a slightly different route I'm going to export from DAS using the Collada DAE format, import into 3D Studio, export from 3D Studio into FBX format, and then use the Reallusion 3D Exchange 4 program to bring the content into iClone. So the first thing is to select a prop. I've chosen the Lotus Pavilion from DAS. This is a very nice prop, as you can see. Go to the File menu, Export, select the Collada DAE format. This is very important. Name this Lotus Pavilion. Press Return. Accept all default options. Now you go. Okay, now that I've generated a Collada DAE version of this DAS prop, I'm going to invoke 3D Studio Max to convert this file into the FBX format. So invoke 3D Studio, use the file pull down, go to import, make sure that the file types you're looking for include Collada DAE as you see here. Otherwise, you won't find your file. You have many, many possibilities to import into 3D Studio. So select Collada DAE, Lotus Pavilion DAE. That's the file I generated. Open it. Click OK with default options. There you go. Now you have your pavilion here, but you also have an extra object, which is the camera. I could have removed the camera in, in the DAS before I exported, but I didn't do that. But I'm going to do it in 3D Studio here. So I use select, pick the camera, delete it, center my object, look around, see if it's still okay, everything looks peachy. I usually do a quick render just to make sure it looks nice and look at that. This is really, really nice. So I have my object now in 3D Studio Max. I'm going to export it in FBX format. So I go file menu, export, select Autodesk FBX. And I'm going to be putting this file just somewhere I can find it, so I'll put it in a 3D Exchange 4 tutorial. So I'll call it Lotus Pavilion, the same thing. Save. Here's the export menu. Choose all the default options, say OK. And that's it for this part. OK, now that I've used 3D Studio to generate the FBX file, I invoked the iClone 3D Exchange 4 program in order to bring this FBX file into iClone. So I go File, Open, look for my Lotus Pavilion FBX, there it is. Open that, click OK with default options. There it is. Now, the only thing I think needs to be done here is align to ground, make sure we center the prop properly. Go to File menu, Export, click OK, select Default Options. So now the 3D Exchange 4 program is creating an iProp with this Lotus Pavilion DAS object. Successfully exported. OK. The next step will be to invoke iClone and find our new generated prop. Okay, now it's time to do a quick summary. The first thing I did, I loaded the Lotus Pavilion into DAS. Then I exported from DAS into a format called Collada DAE. I imported the Collada DAE file into 3D Studio Max, removed the camera, export into the FBX format, then I invoked the Reillusion 3D Exchange 4 program, loaded the FBX file into 3D Exchange 4 and converted it into a format 
that iClone recognize. Now the last thing to do is basically to invoke iClone 4 and look for our file. So we go Tools, pull down menu, Props, Customs folder, and there it is, the Lotus Pavilion. Load it into iClone, center it, look at this. We now have ourselves a new prop to be used in our iClone movies. Now I'm going to play a little bit with lights and shades to give it a little bit of body. So black background, go to lights, select light, turn the ambient light to black. Now it's looking pretty good. Turn all the other lights on, select light one, make it a little bit darker, select light two, oriented so I get some shades, light three oriented so I get more shades, light 4 oriented so I get a nice shading and there it is we have our new prop the Lotus Pavilion ready to be used look at that very nice so my name is Guy I'm Big Boss I hope you enjoyed this tutorial I will be make, making more tutorials as we go along but for now this is it so I wish you a good evening and have fun with iClone thank you